do you have any concern about the fact that if you just get outside and enjoy life and perpetuate the spread of this virus that you put more older people at risk does that concern you at all no um honestly like just from based on off of what i'm hearing here in this conversation i wouldn't be surprised if you're part of the illuminati or whatever government officials are pushing this virus um because like you're wealthy, obviously well known. I just don't think that this is as concerning as possibly as it could be because I don't have coronavirus. I don't have any symptoms. No one I know has symptoms. And I was with thousands of people down in spring break and I was kissing people. I was acting out. Like I was being promiscuous. I was doing all these things and having a good time and nothing happened. You're calling me selfish, but like you are the ones who are concerned because you're concerned about yourselves because you're the ones who can die but look are you just saying this to get attention you can't no do this i know i genuinely think based off because the fact that i was able to create fake news i genuinely if you don't infect think one person that loses their life is it worth it for you to have this attention i don't yeah i'm hearing you talk and you're like oh you're gonna kill somebody like you know what like i'll blow up and i'll cough mm. on you like i'm just tired of it this is ridiculous what's ridiculous is your spoiled and entitled attitude you're the boomer you're the spoiled the one well you're gonna say we're not taking this seriously you're giving us no reason to take it seriously and it's like i'm looking at this and i'm like this is just a bunch of older people pushing concern on something and limiting us and li like limiting our freedom over something that scares them right before an election of a controversial president. I'm just not buying it. I don't think well, other people are. Let, let, me, let me finish this conversation by saying this. I, I want to appeal to everyone to completely disregard everything you're saying because I think it is absolutely absurd. You then went huh? to spring break and hung out on the beach with a bunch of people. I was fine. I made out with a bunch of people. I was not hygienic. I acted like a degenerate. My immune system was down from all the drinking and drugs. And for I should have coronavirus. You're putting their life at danger so you can entertain yourself, so you can have 15 minutes of fame. Well, that's their problem, first of all, not mine. It's and not you know their problem. You're the one that's doing it. No, you know what's ridiculously irresponsible and selfish is that your generation <clears throat> only cares about this virus because it affects you. You guys are the ones dying of it, <clears throat> not us. So you're blaming all of us and you're saying that you're blowing this pandemic to crazy <clears throat> proportions and instilling fear in the nation because you feel like it affects boomers. If it affects young people, you guys just find a way to blame us. But yet this is pandemic is <clears throat> affecting all of you, so you're locking everyone down and instilling fear globally. That's you know, I, I don't even know. That, that is so absurd. I don't even know how to respond to that. It's so ridiculous. The fact is, this is affecting young people as well. Young people are dying from this as well. Do you even know how to spell science? Duh. I'm a senior at Rutgers, and now I don't get to graduate. I mean, nothing's happening, which is fine. Like, it's not like I really went to class. This whole thing's a joke. Like, like. So you think this is all a hoax created by Twitter? That's what you're saying. I think. I think. Yeah. I think. Well, one clout started this virus. A bunch of girls in China started eating exotic animals for views on YouTube, and I'm gonna. I know for a fact that those bats probably do not taste good they just wanted to shock people and like i get it because i'm a cloud chaser myself i had way dirtier things in my mouth that whole spring break two i bleached that three private plane i went flew down on my sugar daddy's plane with my best friend so really it wasn't that dirty well, i bleached it because you know like people like poop on there that's why i bleach it like, you know. Well, you didn't good. say that. You didn't say, I'm going to bleach this and, and lick it. I'm going to clean it like it was in a lab, and then I'm going to bleach it. You So you lied to people. Well, yeah. I mean, that's what the media is doing, I think, with this entire virus. Um, obviously, it was a social experiment more than anything else. Like, obviously, I wanted the cloud off of it, and I was, like, really annoyed that Corona was getting more publicity than me because I currently have like a song going viral right now and no one was covering it. So I decided to hop on the Corona wave, but, um, yeah, I, I just did lie to people. Yeah, I did. And it did exactly what I thought it was going to do. Like, it's funny because I created the fake news myself as like, I feel like I definitely represent like the whole Gen Z 
po like population in I'm not terrified of this. I basically took things that your generation and boomers are scared of and I capitalized off of it and I create and it, it made mainstream media. So I, and I'm sure there was government officials freaking out about it and things like that. I literally, I, I, I manipulated headlines in the political, like, like ring. I had Megan McCain talking about me. I was on the view and I was sitting at home laughing while I was on spring break during the most of this, just like, what the hell? These people literally blew this up out of proportion, created a fake headline that was real.